In today's video I'm going to talk about a peripheral for Elite Dangerous that, for me at least, enables a feature as vital to my gameplay experience as a joystick and throttle. That feature is head tracking and to facilitate it I use the Toby Eye Tracker 5. Whether it's for landing, targeting another ship or a starport, mining asteroids or negotiating a surface settlement in an SRV or indeed just about any other cockpit based activity in the game I use head tracking to assist and what's more it's so intuitive and so natural to use that I do it without thinking about it. The layers of immersion, intuitive control and situational awareness that head tracking give you make it, for me, absolutely essential in a game like Elite Dangerous and in day to day use I can't overstate its importance. Not only does the Toby Eye Tracker enable this feature without the need for any cumbersome headgear but Toby have recently added yet another new feature to the eye tracker that is now fully supported in Elite Dangerous and in this video I'll show you how that feature works and how it can be used to enhance your gameplay in Elite specifically. Toby themselves have very kindly sponsored the channel to make this video about iTracker 5 but I actually bought my own iTracker before Toby contacted us as I've been using head tracking solutions for about 15 years in various simulations on the PC and switched to the Toby solution about 2 months ago specifically because of the things I'm about to talk about. So with all that said let's firstly talk about what the Toby eye tracker is. For the uninitiated the Toby Eye Tracker 5 is a thin camera style peripheral around 30cm long that attaches to the bottom of your PC screen and monitors not only where your head is pointing but also importantly where your eyes specifically are looking. The peripheral hardware itself is just that, a camera like portion. Unlike other head tracking solutions it requires no head mounted hardware at all in order to do what it does. When activated the Toby Eye Tracker will translate your head and eye movements into actions in a game. For Elite Dangerous specifically this means in the cockpit of your spaceship or SRV you can easily and intuitively move your head around in the game and look around as you would as though you were actually there. Using the software that drives the eye tracker the system is very configurable and small head movements are amplified into larger head movements in the game meaning a simple turn towards the outer edge of the screen can enable your pilot in the game to look fully left, right, up or down as you so desire. If you've never used it head tracking in Elite Dangerous and indeed many other games is incredibly intuitive to use and it rapidly becomes second nature. Once it's activated you very quickly start doing it without even thinking about it. Perhaps the single most obvious use scenario for the Toby Eye Tracker in Elite Dangerous is combat. The situational awareness it affords as well as the ability to track what can often be a fast moving target at the periphery of the screen cannot be overstated. However for me both in and out of combat it's in finding, tracking and then targeting objects in the game that I find the facility to be most useful. When you're not using head tracking in order to target a starport, ship or other object in the game just from looking at it you'd need it to be squarely in front of you centred in your heads up display. When using head tracking you merely have to look at the chosen object and hit your target button meaning you can be pointing or travelling in one direction and targeting something in another direction just by looking at it. This not only makes targeting quicker and more efficient but it also means you immediately know which direction the target is in in order to point your ship at it and fly towards it or bring your weapons to bear. When orbiting a planet for example using head tracking means I'm able to survey a planet visually without approaching it any closer and risk dropping into a deorbit glide and it makes finding a starport or other surface target very easy indeed. And once again once you've visually identified something you can easily determine what direction to head in in order to approach the target or a landing zone. It is however called the Toby Eye Tracker for a reason and it's in the tracking of where you are actually looking as opposed to where your head is pointing that gives the eye tracker its genius new feature. 
With more traditional head tracking solutions you have to set a curve in the accompanying software that drives how far your head moves in the real world and how far it moves in the virtual world. Once that curve is set it's fixed and it can't be changed dependent on the circumstances you find yourself in without reopening the software and manually changing it. The fixed nature of the movement translation means that head movements in the game, say looking directly over your shoulder for example, require more extreme head movements in the real world causing you to turn your head to the very extreme of the screen in order to affect the required change in the game and therefore meaning you have less screen real estate available to you to actually see what you're trying to look at. The latest innovation for the Toby eye tracker that has just been activated in Elite Dangerous is called Camera Boost and, using the unique abilities of the eye tracker when compared to traditional head tracking it does away with this problem by intuitively allowing your eyes themselves to change that movement translation curve I was talking about on the fly. In the example you can see on screen now you can see a feature of the Toby eye tracker called Ghost. Ghost has the ability to render an on screen view of the position your eyes are currently looking at. Don't worry it doesn't do this normally it's just for the purposes of illustration. If I look straight ahead and then turn my head left or right you'll note that the camera view only moves a small amount. If however I look at the extreme edge of the screen and then move my head the same amount which is actually something you do instinctively when looking anyway the camera movement in the game is boosted significantly to the point where I'm able to look right over my shoulder with just a small movement of my head. It's almost as though the eye tracker is able to read the intent behind your head movement. The act of looking to the extremes of what the game is able to show you normally becomes instinctive as you look around your cockpit. Rather than having to specifically drive the camera in the game using large deliberate head movements while simultaneously keeping your eyes on the position that the object you're tracking is residing in, tracking or targeting an object can be as simple as a glance and a small head movement. It's really really clever. The software that is used to drive the eye tracker is also very powerful and configurable but also very easy to use. It's very diagrammatic in nature and visually driven with big clear images that make it very obvious what aspect you're configuring and how it will affect what you see and experience. Through my own use I've found that small tweaks are initially essential to understand how the eye tracker is being affected by the changes you make and then I quickly settled into finding what worked for me specifically. Different configurations for the eye tracker can be saved on a game by game basis so you don't have to worry about changing settings to accommodate a different games camera system every time you play and you can choose to play any supported game with head tracking only, head and eye tracking or head and camera boost eye tracking enabled. I've found the latter to work for me best but you're not fixed into any one option. The position my gaming PC sits in means I have south facing and west facing windows behind me which often sees direct sunlight hitting my PC screen. This has often meant that with my previous head tracking solution I was forced to play with curtains closed as the camera would often lose track of the headgear that helped maintain the track. It was actually one of the reasons that I chose to look at other head tracking solutions and why I ultimately switched to the Toby eye tracker. I've used the eye tracker now in the same lighting conditions as well as testing it with direct bright lighting and also in a pitch black environment and it has never once lost its tracking solution on me or my eyes. I also habitually wear glasses when using my PC and the eye tracker is completely unaffected by them. The eye tracker comes supplied with a couple of solutions to attach the unit to the underside of your screen. I'm using a wide flat panel monitor and so the eye tracker is able to attach to it via a slim magnetic mounting. It also has a cradle unit that can be used to hold the eye tracker in place underneath a curved monitor if you use one. It's worth underlining again as well that with traditional head tracking you're forced to wear a headset or hat with tracking markers on it. In my case this meant that when playing I always had to wear my headphones if I wanted to use head tracking whilst playing regardless of where the sound output from the game was being sent. 
Now I'm using the eye tracker I can sit in comfort and only use my headphones if I don't want the game sounds sent into my speakers or I'm using voice comms which I personally really appreciate. Overall then I found the eye tracker very easy to install and set up. Aside from adding a very small null zone right in the middle of the screen I found the default tracking curves that the software ships with worked perfectly well and didn't really need changing. As I've mentioned in this review having tried the unit in pure head tracking, head and eye tracking and then with head tracking and the new camera boost feature I've absolutely found the latter to be my preferred option. The camera boost feature is honestly absolute genius. Whilst its effect can result in deliberate grand gestures when you want them such as looking over your shoulder the unit overall is also subtle enough that just small head movements are also commonplace and completely intuitive. If you're in the market for a head tracking solution I'd highly recommend it. At the time of recording Toby are offering a 20% discount on the price of the eye tracker to celebrate the company's 23rd anniversary which runs until the 10th of September. While it's active you can take advantage of that discount using the link in the description below this video. I want to again thank Toby for sponsoring the video today. We hope you found it useful and if you haven't already remember to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you on the next one.